as you can see we'll be talking about something in a minute but first I've just grabbed a piece uh, out of the paper I thought I'd let you have a look at so police investigate council by-election after complaints after Nottingham's criminal cartel rigged the election and the police who are the strategic partners of Nottingham criminal cartel are going to investigate election complaints that it was fixed but because of their strategic partnership they'll find nothing was wrong because they're bought and paid for by the council this is the state the country's in now now I've actually got a few uh, bits of paper to look at again today I haven't actually scanned them and put them in there but here's is this is Monday this is from Monday's post here we go the search for answers begins today child abuse inquiry launched now if you recall it was just a couple of weeks ago that Nottingham criminal cartel um, posted that they were sorry for all the children that had been raped in, in uh, Nottingham City Council and County Council care. Never such a truer word. Time for the truth. How the criminal, corrupt councils have aided and abetted in the paedophilia that's been going on in Nottingham. Particularly Nottingham City Council, Labour, but then again, we've also got Rushcliffe, uh, Rushcliffe Borough Council, Conservative, with the head paedophile in Parliament, Ken Clark, and then of course we've got the County Council, Labour, who've already apologised several times for allowing the rape of children in their care. We're sorry your children got raped. Now just let us carry on raping kids, because that's basically what they, they want. Uh, and just to show you how corrupt Nottingham criminal cartel, some call them Nottingham City Council, I call them by the real name, Nottingham criminal cartel they are. Eviction threat for parents of children caught with knives. Now, you don't generally know what your kid's getting up to, but that is an Orwellian dictatorship in your face, in the paper. Of course they don't realize that but um, never mind eh? Uh, it's, it's another load of waste of money as you can see it's Robin Hood's hideaway these we've had 33 of these statue things around Nottingham it's just a coincidence it's 33 nothing to worry about there's nothing to do with Freemasonry or anything like that or is it and they were calling this hoodwinked and you'll see if you if you've been following me which I know you lot have and my partner the bold one um, we did a, a video about that hoodwinked and when you look up the term hoodwinked it means to deceive to cheat to lie and yes Nottingham criminal cartel have been hoodwinking almost all of Nottingham but that's no nothing to worry about because uh, who are you going to report them to? The police! <laughs> Good luck with that. Now, I'll just read this bit here. You can see there, it's the headline. Abuse inquiry told of complacency and records destroyed. Now, on that by itself, I can confirm because we've had to track down Mickey Summers records, uh, Mandy, Mandy Coupland, she, she's done a lot of the digging and we found stuff that the council couldn't find. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? We couldn't find the records that would prove you that the council was complicit in the abuse and paedophile raping of children. Ah, oh, we've lost all them. Oh, but we managed to find them, didn't we? Nottingham criminal cartel. Your days are numbered and you know it. Now, before I spend too long on that subject, let's just go to this. A friend of mine sent me this, Kevin. Uh, you, you've seen him in the videos talking about all sorts of things. I'll just read it out to you. The gathering is looking better and better. As the day of the auction was approaching, they spent 
many sleepless nights trying to figure out how they could afford to buy it. When the auction actually took place, some 200 different farmers were all were at the auction and David and his family thought they would never be able to afford to buy it back. It had been stolen by the, the criminal banks. That is when the farmer stepped up to the plate and did something nobody was expecting. When David and his fa father placed their bid, they took a deep breath and hoped for the best. That is when something fascinating happened and this needs to happen here as well. Nobody else tried to put in a bid and not one single person spoke up. Eventually the auctioner had to slam down the gavel and give them the winning bid. As it turns out, those 200 farmers did not attempt to bid because they wanted the family to get their land back again. David recalls this from the, at the auction. I've had two profoundly humbling days in my life. The first was the day my son was born. The second was that unforgettable day at the auction house. This is a great example of human kindness and we could use more of it in the world. Don't forget the gathering. Hashtag the gathering at St. Stephen's Green, the Hub Island. The courts became an arm of the economic policy of the government. Uh, hashtag no more evictions, fight the banks. We will help you, we are free. This is what we need to do in this country, along with lock up the criminal politicians, which is most of them, the crooked police, which is those above a certain rank, the bent judges, which is almost all of them, the corrupt councils, well, we know about that, I've just spoke about that, but this is the sort of thing we've got to do if we want to take back our country. In other slightly off, off topic news, Paedophilia is natural and normal for males. How some university academics make the case for paedophiles at summer conferences. Paedophilia isn't normal. It's abnormal. It's disgusting. It's disgraceful. And those who get involved in it need to be at the very least locked up. And then after a, a long and painful time execution is the only for, um, way to sort this shit out you execute them they'll never do it again ever i guarantee it revealed government plans for police privatization <clears throat> West Midlands and Surrey Police offer 1.5 billion contract under which private firms may investigate crime and detain suspects. This article <coughs> is from 2012. So they've had six years to bring this in. And as we've heard, down in Golders Green area, they've already got the private police and they're going to be rolling it out because this is the plan. And if you think the private police are going to be any different to this bunch of useless sh shits, then you're mad. In fact, they'll be even worse. And of course, why do they need private police? To protect the private criminals, which are, of course, MPs, judges, lawyers, solicitors, counsellors, police. <laughs> and the list just goes on and on. So this is a way to try and cover up their criminal activity. As you see. Young Tories, night of shame, students, sport, F, U, you know the rest, the NHS slogan, Hit, Hitler moustache and make dodgy hand gestures. In other words, this is the typical Tories, a bunch of pissed up assholes that don't know what frigging day it is. And if you can't see on there, if you look at the... The dickhead in the middle with his face looking straight at you in between the two twats with glasses. If you look down towards his heart here, it says, F you, the NHS. This is a, this is a typical Tory scum. 
No, it's not their fault. They're brainwashed. They're idiots. They're incompetent. They're twats. A typical Tory. Could it just as easily be a typical Labour. Because if you support any of them scumbags, you support your own imprisonment, your own dictatorship. But this shows you how these scummy pieces of shit are. Now, as you can see here, I'm just skipping through because we've got a load to go through today. Now, six-year-olds forced to write gay love letters to teach accepting diversity or paedophilia. And if you look at the, the top there, you're going to tell Thomas why it's a brilliant idea for him to marry you. This is the sort of sick, perverted paedophilia we've got going off in schools at the moment. Six-year-olds. Diversity, no. Paedophilia, yes. That's what that's all about. As we move on to the utter dis utterly despicable and anything but unindependent. Follow evidence on drugs, not ideology. Final say support grows among Tories. Will Britain start to snub marriage? Chowdhury's release may stoke tensions. And apparently the main headline in this piece of shit. May face a struggle to take back control with speech. Boris attacks checkers to packed house on eve of PM's address. <laughs> DUP rules out support for conscious consension she hopes to offer EU. <coughs> So we've got to give more to Europe because we're leaving, <coughs> allegedly, of course, we're not leaving. But we've got to give Europe more instead of just repealing the 72 Act. That's it. We're out. We're done. Let put me in this f***ing shithole. I'll sort it out. I'll repeal the 72 Act. Bunch of useless up their own arses. MPs, member of paedophiles. The mirror. Emmerdale, bad girl, is back and ready for revenge. So, could watch some TV, I suppose, and ignore the fact that uh, we're run by a load of treacherous, treasonous bastards. Student night of shame, Tory party of the future. Com Conservative groups suspended over offensive t-shirt slogans, and there you can actually see it. If you look over there, it's highlighted. F the NHS. That's what sort of scum we've got in this country. And to be honest, we don't need them. Okay, so they've been brainwashed. That's neither in nor there. They cho they've chosen to be brainwashed. They deserve it. Star. Man asks world's daftest question. Why do you all keep staring at me? As he's got tattooed all over his face. Dad's Army, Lost Show, Revived. Does that mean they're going to remake it? Because they're remake, remaking everything. Because they've run out of ideas to keep us distracted. So they'll just remake old shit they've put out previously. Hmm. Nah, that's not going to work. Snowflake Britain, what a load of claptrap. <clears throat> now uni bands clapping for causing stress. <laughs> you stressed now? <laughs> Apparently, according to these Satanist scum, you might be. The Times. Forced marriage victims get protection after Times investigation. Really? I don't believe that for a second. May insists best days are still to come for Britain. Prime Minister demands unity for divided MPs. Of course the best days are still to come. You've got us in such a shithole, it can only get better from this point. By starting with you being locked up. 
Oh, and all the rest of the treasonous MPs. African mission. Milena Trump visits a baby clinic in Ghana. Washing up. That'll be 12,000, darling. Stay at home spouses arguing about that they're going to be... Uh, The Guardian. I don't accept the misuse of power. Samantha Morton on Weinstein and Hollywood. She was of course abused. She's from Nottingham and she was abused in care homes in Nottingham. Oh and the, 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 the Nottingham criminal cartel came out and apologised about that because she's famous now. But it took them until two weeks ago to apologise to the other children that they'd raped molested, murdered, and still are. Anxiety dreams, what do they really mean? It's too late anger over long wait for tsunami aid. May appeals to decent patriots in effort to halt Johnson leadership bid. Um, just just recall that anything to do with May or Johnson is smoke and mirrors. They sit down and eat dinner together and laugh at how they screwed us all. And still are. Down in the bottom right there. Bells ring out. Heterosexual couple given right to civil partnership. The country is so screwed world the western world is so screwed daily fail parasite and scumbag alert royal secrets revisit revealed in the palms of their hands pages 20 and 21 so two pages to talk about the scum satanic scum Boris accuses May of cheating voters on Brexit. She slaps him down in public rebuke. Just as the Tories need unity to crush Corbyn, the PM and her party's star turn all right. Daggers drawn. Ah, daggers are drawn, are they? Yeah, bullshit. Believe that, you believe anything. Mind you, if you vote for that, that or the other, any of the others, you might just believe anything anyway, because each time a vote comes up, they say we're going to do this for you we're going to do that for you when they should have already been doing it anyway but they promise you more crap and that's what, exactly what you get if you vote you are the problem if you're on the voters register you are the problem I, another part of the problem Mixed sex couples win right to civil partnership. Like fantastic Nobel Prize won by Laser Beam Team. Ruby Wax, why our relationships matter to mental health. Stranded Britons told to make own way home. The secret lives of twins. May versus Johnson for soul of Tories. Party, party's deep divisions laid bare as Johnson makes his pitch for number 10 with explosive speech. PM hits back saying, former Foreign Secretary plans for Brexit would tear up United Kingdom. Unlike what I'm doing, which is destroying the United Kingdom and selling out, she said. Maybe. Kim Sum, Kim Sum Gupta on cyber warfare. <coughs> Express. Bake off through Leith. How I found love again in my 70s. I guess you just put it out there. Easy ways you can slash 900 off your bills now. I'm sick of hearing this shit. <coughs> PM's conference speech will today spell out her patriotic vision for a future full of promise and betrayal. I may have added the betrayal bit, but that's more accurate. Time to believe in Brexit Britain. 
piss off. Everyone's sick to death of your lying deceit and has had enough of this bullshit. Just repeal the 72 Act and let's get the hell out of here. Or as was said in a um, Lethal Weapon movie, let's get the flock out of here. Metro. Riz Ahmed, just fantastic rise and rise of the Venom Star. Mm. My life's become a vile circus, says Johnny Depp. Kate's back mucking in for the Royals. Kai hands off the pills and feels a superhero. Ashley Cull at House of Freezer. <clears throat> We don't need EU, says PM. But I'm going to keep us in there because that's the plan for the world, one world government dictatorship. So we can't be splitting from a one world government dictatorship. So I'm going to carry this on for a bit longer, then we're staying. Although I'll tell you, we've, we've left. <clears throat> May insists Britain's best days are still to come as Brexit looms. Who's Britain? Who's this Britain that the best days are still to come for? Because it's not no one in this country because these are the shittiest days of our lives thanks to this treasonous bitch and as for that fact but boris slams checkers cheat on eve of her big big speech to tories so they want you to believe you've only got two choices may or boris labor conservative evil more evil because when you vote, you're only voting for evil. There's never any good there. <sighs> Telegraph. Cabinet demands May sets a date to quit. Pressure on PM as senior Tories insist it is not now a matter of when she goes, not if. And then we'll get some other twatting. Labour maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the same, different cover of the same book. That's all it is. My sinister brush with Kavanagh shows why he is unfit for the job. Yeah, it's more bullshit. Financial Times. Electing the corrupt. Hey, we do that in UK as well. Brazil's, Brazil's, politi is that Britain? Brazil's politicians face a record number of criminal cases. We're in Britain, that doesn't happen because we're so corrupt, it never gets to that stage. And an MP? You've got to be joking. They can kill, lie, maim, murder, rape. And they still get in. China is not Mexico. Trump's simplistic approach to trade won't always work. The Swiss model. The Brexit effect has now has seen Brussels turn tough on burn. Johnson pulls in the crowds at Tory fringe. Amazon raises minimum wage as critics prompt Bezos to listen. UK and US staff to gain. Labour unrest simmers. Cost unlikely to m move the needle. So, <clears throat> big times here in Nottingham. The paedophile governments and councils are being exposed. Will anything happen? Will the leader, Councillor John Collins, the paedophile protector and the CEO, Ian Courier, the paedophile protector, get what's coming to them. I doubt it because it's run by them. But, you know, those that are watching it and going for it think it will. And I hope it will. But will it? I doubt it. Dennis Healy. World events do not occur by accident. They are made to happen, whether it is to do with national issues or commerce and most of them are staged and managed by those who hold the purse strings.